Sea Level Solutions Day is put on by the Sea Level Solutions Center of Florida International University, which is part of the Institute of Environment. It's a citizen science effort where we try to bring a lot of people out to the streets uh, in areas where we know that it's potentially flooding and to make measurements with a sampling kit. Then we try to collect those over years. And so we schedule this to coincide with the king tides, which occur in the uh, late fall in Miami. And they're due to, you know, temperature increases in the water at the late part of the summer and also circulation patterns and so forth. My name is Michael Sukop and I'm a professor at Florida International University in the Institute of Environment and the Sea Level Solution Center. And I am a hydrogeologist, which means I focus on uh, subsurface water. The last time we were out here at uh, Little River Pocket Park, we noticed that uh, there was a great deal of water coming from Northeast uh, 79th uh, Street, the intersection with uh, 10th Avenue. So we kind of uh, wanted to see what the salinity coming out of that water looked like. And so we have put some uh, probes in there this time that should be uh, monitoring the salinity. And I guess we measured it directly also and found it, I think, to be about two thirds seawater. So it's got some dilution with fresh water, but it's quite, uh, quite salty and quite, will be quite aggressive on uh, your cars and, and various other things like that. Little River is especially important to the health of the bay. Uh, you know, upstream there are a lot of uh, septic uh, systems that uh, may be uh, you know, depositing a lot of nutrients into the water of Little River, which then goes into the bay right close to where we're standing right now. And there are a lot of people living, of course, in the watershed. Even though it's not a very large watershed, there are a lot of, it, the density is quite high. And so there is a lot of potential sources of uh, essentially contamination, nutrients in particular, that can uh, get into the water and then go right into the bay where it may uh, cause uh, fish kills that we've been observing the last few years. I think it's a really important thing to kind of come back and revisit a lot of these sites and collect this data. And we collect samples for E. coli and uh, also nitrogen and phosphorus which are uh, some contaminants that could cause problems in Biscayne Bay, for example. That's why the citizen science effort is, uh, you know, it's our best hope, perhaps, for getting broad coverage of the whole area, especially in the early stages of uh, sea level rise in Miami, so that we have something to kind of look back at and, you know, try to understand uh, how things are changing over time.